This is a fish called a bashir. Bashirs are found in Africa, and like all fish, they live in water. That is, until they met researcher Emily Standen, who was working at McGill University in Canada. Standen thought that she would try raising bashir on land. Why, you ask? To see if it helps them walk. It isn't quite as mad as it sounds. Let's go back a step. Bashirs, unusually among fish, actually have lungs as well as gills, so they can breathe air. But having lungs doesn't mean you can walk, as demonstrated by this lung fish's failed attempts at perambulation. But there are fish that do take tentative steps onto land. Arguably, the masters of fishy walking are these mudskippers. Bashirs too can make flappy forays over land. But they walk in a very different way. In fact, scientists think they walk like the ancestors of all tetrapods might have walked. Fishapods, if you will. Studying how they react to a terrestrial environment could help us understand how the very first fishy footsteps were taken on land. Standen's bashirs grew up in a decidedly damp but totally terrestrial environment. She and her team set up some high-speed cameras, placed the bashirs on a stage, and let them go. They compared their walking abilities with those of bashirs raised more traditionally, you know, in water. And they saw some differences, subtle but distinct. The landlubbers lifted their heads higher, planted their fins more efficiently, and slipped less often than their aquatic associates. This suggests that bashirs have the ability to modify their behaviour in response to their environment, a concept called plasticity. This is the first time that plasticity has been shown to be a potential facilitator of such a major evolutionary step as our ancestors crawling out of the seas and onto land. But it doesn't stop there. When Standen examined the skeletons of her land-living bashirs, she found that their muscles and bones had changed as they adapted to walking. It appears that the bashir's anatomy is as plastic as their behaviour. These changes looked strikingly similar to the kinds of changes scientists see in the fossil record as ancient species started making the transition to land. It might not look elegant, but don't be deceived. After all. One small flappy step of our fishy ancestors may have led to the giant leaps of mankind.